Math Spy by John Tully. What? 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 Morning, Major Hurst. It's me, Agent Q7. Oh, yes, yes. <coughs> I didn't hear you come in. Uh, I was thinking, you see. I close my eyes, shut out the rest of the world. <laughs> yes, sir. You snore, too. I what? You uh, thought through the problem. <coughs> what are you doing here? Well, you sent for me, sir. Did I? Oh, yes, yes. Oh, I did. Is it about my next job? No, it's about your last one. That uh, enemy agent you uncovered in number 10 Downing Street, communicating with the Kremlin. Oh, that. Did you find out who it was? It was the Prime Minister on the hotline. Oh. The PM is not amused, Q7. Neither is the head of the department, nor am I. Not too happy myself, sir. Then there was the pork pie salesman you arrested in Chichester. What did he turn out to be? A pork pie, pie salesman. salesman. And as for the spy he unmasked on his way back to Bucharest. I'm sorry about that, sir. I didn't realise he's one of ours. Didn't realise? Well, I haven't been working for the Secret Service very long. Quite long enough. I suggest you look for alternative employment. But, sir. Get out of here, Q7, and don't come back. Interested in needlework, are you? Yes, I am. I like quilting best. Oh, I like quilting too. Do you prefer the English or the Italian style? I like the English. Actually, I'm rather fond of... Hey, you've forgotten your... Good afternoon. Are you interested in needlework? Eh? Oh, yeah, I am. Me too. Really? Quilting by any chance? Oh, I like quilting very much. English or Italian? I like the English. Machine or handwork? Machine? Handwork? I am not told the answer to this question. Not told? Please, not to waste my time. I beg your pardon? I give the correct answer. Give me the magazine. Give you? Stupid or something? Hey! What's the idea? Very kind of you, but you shouldn't have gone to all that trouble. Come on, Q7, run. Q7? How do you know I'm... What's going on? Who are you? Don't you know who I am? Agent Q5. Q5? Crikey, so you are. 
What are you doing in that outfit? We can't talk here. Where are we going? To a safe house. It's not far. Oh, I must change. Wait here. Q5? My name's Samantha. You can call me Sam. Oh, my name's Rick. What were you doing in the park? I was keeping Lucy under observation. Lucy? Who's Lucy? The woman with the magazine. The one you were following. Following? I wasn't following anybody. But you talked to her. You gave the right answers to her questions. The right answers? I like quilting. I like the English. But I do like quilting. English style. Didn't you know she was a spy? A spy? Is she? Of course she is. She works for the factor. Who's the factor? You don't know anything, do you? You just stumbled into this by accident. Well, I suppose you'll have to know about it now. Sit down. The factor runs a private spy network. His agents pick up top secret information and he sells it around the world to anyone who'll pay him for it. Wow. Right now, his agents are on the trail of a new kind of explosive that our people have invented. If Lucy's one of his agents, well, what was she doing in the park? She was waiting to meet a contact. When you came along, she thought you were the contact, so she left the magazine for you to pick up. And the man who came afterwards? He was the real contact. He thought she was you. Um, I mean, you were her. So he took the magazine. Sam! This magazine? There must be some kind of message in it. At last. Here. What's this? Could be what we want. Quilting with pictures. What does that mean? Well, you can embroider pictures on a quilted background. It was a popular technique in the 18th uh, century. Never mind that. What are these rectangles? Well, those are the quilting patterns. They make a background for the pictures. Copy the rectangle you want onto the fabric, and then you start stitching at one of the dots on the edge. Doesn't matter which one. Now, I'll show you what I mean. Let's start stitching at this dot. You machine in a straight line from one dot to the next, diagonally, like this. And when you reach another edge, you turn round and start the next line. So you don't have to take the work out of the machine. You carry on till you find yourself back at the place where you started. And then what? Well, then you've got to begin again at another dot on the edge. You might use a different coloured thread this time. Down this way. Up there. And back here. And that's it. You filled the whole of this grid with just two threads. You might need only one thread, or you might need quite a lot. So if you trace out every rectangle like that, each one should give you a number. The number of threads you have to use to fill it up, right? Right. Mm. The numbers could be a code. But what do they refer to? Pictures, I suppose. There's five pairs of rectangles and five pictures. But it's obvious. Each pair of rectangles gives you two numbers. So? So, the first number tells you which line in the caption to look at. Line one, two, or three. The second number tells you which word in the line. First, second, third, fourth. All right. We know that the first rectangle needed two threads. So, look at the first caption. Number two means line two. This line. If we work out the other rectangle in that pair, it should give us the number of the word. And the second pair of rectangles will give us a line and a word under the second picture. Right. There must be five words all told. All we have to do is find out what they are. What is the mystery message that Lucy was leaving? How many threads can you count in a quilt? Crack the code and help track the factor before the next intriguing installment of Maths Man.